Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and fantastic day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to read level 2. So, it's a very educational video today. We're going to be using the Moomoo trading platform, so it's going to be how to read level 2 on Moomoo. It's a very important thing to understand is how to read level 2, why it's important, and we're going to be just breaking down everything in it. So, before we get started, I need you to do me a couple of favors. Now, go ahead and smash that like button. No, I'm just kidding. You guys don't have to, but if you want to, you can. But all right, we're gonna be talking about level two, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys wanna get a free stock just by signing up, link down below, we'll see you in there, let's go. Alrighty guys, so we are up and loaded here on the Moomoo trading platform. So you guys can see we have ticker symbol AAPL also known as the one and only the trillion dollar company well over a trillion dollar company now uh apple so we're going to be looking at the level two down here so if you guys have any questions go ahead and go in the comments and ask me a question if you guys don't understand some of the stuff i'm saying just ask a question so let's jump right into it guys so right here we have the order book now on the left here we have the bid and on the right, we have the ask. So what is the bid and the ask price? So this is on the left here is the buyers. So these are people trying to buy the stock. On the right is people trying to sell the stock. Now, a lot of people get these uh, confused and they don't understand them. The way I think of it, I think of this as an auction. They're auctioning the stock, okay? Bid is people that are bidding for the stock. They're the buyers. Now the ask these are the people selling the item. They're asking money for the stock. That's how I remember it. And so it makes it a lot easier for me, to be honest, just to you know, distinguish between the bid and the ask. So looking at Moomoo here, you guys can see they have the overall bid and they have the overall ask broken down in percentages. So you guys can see the percentage of people buying and the percentage of people selling. Now, looking at the order book here, you guys can see that we have ARCA, ARCA, all the way down. What this is, is this is the different exchanges. Sometimes you'll see the NASDAQ, sometimes you'll see a variety of other exchanges actually on here. Depending on what type of stock we look at, we'll often have a different exchange. So this is where you know they actually purchase or sell the stock. So now in the middle here, we do have the prices. So you guys can see each one of these, um, for the most part, are different. Then on the right here, this is the share count. So you might be saying, well, they're only buying 10 shares. Well, no, that is 1,000 shares. So 100 on the share count is 1. So looking right here, there's, there are 100 shares rated to sell at $291.55. So right here, this is 10,000 shares. So you guys can see what's going on with this and really get a good overall idea of where this stock's going. So yes, you guys can look at the order prices. Yes, you guys can look at the bid price to see future predictions, but there's a lot more that goes into it. So if you guys see a huge order coming in, but the but the layout on the screen doesn't look right or it's hitting resistance lines, and we, yeah, we have a huge buyer coming in. Maybe that's not the best time to actually buy. But maybe if we're at a support line and we see a huge buyer coming in, maybe that is a better option to wait for to actually predict the future share price. So really, there's a ton of ways people use Level 2. One of the things that I use it for are finding hidden sellers. So really what you can do is you guys can see that there's a huge seller here of 10,000 shares at the $291.65. So you guys can get a future prediction. So okay, when this stock comes in contact to two when this stock comes in contact with $291.65, we're most likely going to have a dip in the share price. So you can use that to your advantage and really capitalize on hidden sellers and finding large buyers to ride the wave and push that share price up more. So right here we do have the ticker name so you guys can see uh, the orders actually getting filled and you guys can see the bid and the ask change. So now 80% are sellers 
and the bid is only 20%. So now we have a lot more sellers than buyers. So there's a couple options that you guys can look at. You guys can realize, okay, well, maybe this isn't the best time to buy into the stock because you never want to buy it. Since the trend is down like this, maybe this isn't the best option. Maybe that's wait for a break of the trend, break of the uh, you know 200 moving average line, and then we can possibly get a push all the way up to 292.55, and that will give us a little a little profit within that range. So the level two is very important, and don't forget the bid is the buyers and the ask is the sellers. All right, another good thing that you guys can use level two for now, as you guys can see, we have a lot of hidden buyers and a lot of hidden sellers looking at ticker symbol apple now imagine that this is a building okay so we're standing up on the top here and we have the let's say a huge heavy object let's say we have a cinder block this cinder block weighs a ton weighs a lot okay so obviously if we dropped it through this building it would hit concrete and break but let's imagine and play a little game that the floors were made of like a cardboard or like a drywall, something that's a little thinner and can actually break. So imagine standing up on top and we dropped it. Now it's gonna have a lot harder time breaking through the 43 than the 424. Now, so imagine this being the stock price. The stock's gonna have a lot harder time to break through four, 424 than 43. So one of the things that I like to use this as is almost like a mini support and resistance lines. So you guys can realize, okay, right at 291.55, if I'm holding the bullying ball, this stock's going to have a lot harder time breaking through. And so you guys can really use that and really understand what I'm saying. It's just a little tip that I like to actually use when I'm looking at the level two. So I realize, okay, we have, you know, a a kind of a heavy buyer sitting at 291.41 so i know this stock's going to have a harder time breaking through this than you know at the 291.46 so that's just a little tip that i like to use and i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope you guys really understand how to use level two if you guys have any questions please sure go ahead ask them in the comments down below uh that is it though i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did drop subscribe down below uh, take care, have a good one, and I hope you guys have a great new year. And don't forget, you guys can get a free stock just by signing up. So that is it, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care, have a good one. Peace out.